my husband and I woke up and we were craving Nashville chicken so much. Is that weird? I don't know. But we didn't have the patience to soak it overnight on spices, nor did we have all the ingredients. But hey, we made it work and I think it turned out pretty good. So let us show what we did. So we had some uh, chicken thighs lying in the fridge and they were with the bone and with the skin. Of course, in an ideal world, you want to get the chicken thighs that are already deboned and deskinned. But we worked with what we had. So we removed the bone first. I mean, my husband did, as you could see and then we removed the skin from the chicken and also he flattened out a little bit the chicken thigh so when that was done we repeated the process uh, for the other chicken thighs and this recipe we also ended up preparing for our little kids and of course they're not going to have spiced chicken so you'll notice that there will be a step or two that you can omit uh, for your little kids and just not dip it in the spicy sauces and you can easily make this recipe for your kids as well the chicken turns out very tender very delicious and uh, beautiful so then we prepared uh, the first sauce the batter uh, ideally you need an egg <laughs> we ran out so uh, it was just the time before we went shopping so just bear with us so what we did use is we used two tablespoons of sour cream instead uh, 100 mils of water and then 100 grams of flour and one tablespoon of apple uh, cider or vinegar and then I added a little bit more water you could see here just for to get the right consistency and so uh, then in the separate bowl you're going to mix your flour 100 grams your one teaspoon of uh, onion powder one teaspoon of garlic powder half teaspoon of black pepper half teaspoon of salt uh, and also one tablespoon of paprika and we mix it really well together then we poured some uh, oil or so vegetable or canola oil into your frying pan and let it uh, steam up or heat meanwhile we would dip first your chicken thigh into the dry flour mixture and then into the batter and back into the dry mixture so uh, as you will notice the spices are uh, not here yet so you're okay to do that for this step so once you fry your chicken on both sides you take it out you let the excess uh, uh, oil come off it uh, with a kitchen towel if you like and then we may prepare the hot sauce so that's what you where you don't want to use for little kids or skip that step so we add some brown sugar about uh, 100 grams then we're gonna add paprika uh, one tablespoon of uh, chili flakes um, friends sauce about uh, four or five tablespoons and then tabasco about uh, three or four tablespoons and some hot oil you need the hot oil to make sure the chicken doesn't get too soggy so this is your spicy sauce and it might sound like very spicy it's not that bad actually guys so what we did is once you dip your chicken in that hot sauce you're gonna layer it on the plate and again if you have the, um, some paper towels maybe uh, soak it in a little bit to remove the excess and then you pour a little bit but exactly with the chili flakes at the bottom and we had to add extra extra hot fran sauce I don't know what was going on in our hands we loved it but I hope you tried as well and follow us for more bye